Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for some more Banishers. Ghost of New Eden. We're about to enter the cemetery. Try to find George. I think his name was. I don't remember. That was the wrong button. There we go. Where are you leading me? Oh, Charles. His name was Charles. Okay, I'm supposed to block. Seems like it. So wait, I can read the gravestones. Most of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. I didn't know I could read the gravestones. I suppose just the big ones. Wasn't there one over here I could inspect? Or was it just a? Any random gravestone. There we go. Got the button for that. What's that? Mushrooms. Oh, what is this? Oh, come on. Or seriously? I need to figure out these buttons. That's pyrite. Okay, so now I'm collecting resources. Which is good, I suppose. Now this makes you wonder. Okay, I can't go over there. So I suppose downwards. Okay. This place has been touched by a ghost. No. I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. Amen. Is this what my ring is sensing? A memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. Perform the ritual. Rituals. Memories of the dead linger here. To reveal them, you must gather the necessary resources. Okay. Seashore candles. Seashore candle and pyrite will do the trick for the ritual. Can I pick these up? I suppose not. Strip winter green. Everyone buried here died in 1677. A previous epidemic? I guess we'll find out. Okay. Should I go up there? More pyrite. I just need the candle now. What is that? Let's go down. Already gathered that. 
Again, I'm close. There should be seashore candle near the water. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Thank you. Many dead in more recent years. Can I go down here? I can. Oh, nice. Found the candles. Can't go there. Alright, so we're going back up. There we go. Got some specter dust. Oh, uh, I should probably start breaking all this. Might find good stuff in them. Leather. Alright, is that the exit? Probably, probably. Perform ritual. Okay. Hackering ritual. Let's see what will be revealed. In each stain hides a story. In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place! You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Whoa. Well, since you ask so politely... <laughs> Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared! Be gone! You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. No, but neither do you. Oh, wow. What'd she do? Crush his heart? This is where he died. Wow. The tie that binds his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. If I can find his grave. Okay, so now we have to find his grave. I suppose it's this one. Yep. Oh. Here you are. Okay, first a ghost. I think it's this one, right? Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far. Red and I, not to see you one last time. 
your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. And here, here, at last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake, and it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Why did you not wait for our help? The threat was rising, despair growing. There were so many dead and tear, so much sickened flesh. So many afflicted souls, there was no more time. Do you know how this curse began? What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. Many months ago, certainly. But I do know this. This nightmare chose New Eden for a reason. So, a ghost. This one is different. Implacable. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a spectre. And just as relentless. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dantea. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. Dantea, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained, but it won't stay locked up for long. We'll banish it, Red and I. Our good friend's death shall not go unpunished. Be warned. This nightmare is too angry to be persuaded, and too powerful to be destroyed. Your death pains us greatly. Your return pains me, too. I know. For my part, I'm glad to have seen you one last time. To have had the chance to warn you. I thought nightmares were a myth. A nightmare is the rarest of ghosts. A powerful, insidious spirit, birthed by tragedy most dreadful. How do I banish it? There is meager wisdom in the texts. What little there is says it cannot be banished at all. If it's a ghost, I can banish it. You took notes, I suppose. Where might I find them? They vanished. <laughs> in the days before my death. Perhaps I mislaid them. Which is not like me. If you find them, read them carefully. Perhaps I missed something. Something important. 
How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed amused, as if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. What did it look like? I... don't know. When it manifested, it appeared as... Esther. My dear Esther, I did not see its true face, but I heard a woman. Not Esther, someone else. She was laughing. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard okay. your warning. You can go. No, I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your... Antea, wait. Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose this. Oh, Lord. Please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh, dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave, please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antea, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends, and save yourselves. Save them all. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Taya, she gave him the care he needed. Okay, so we're back in control. My Charles. Where do you think he is now? He's... Uh, I don't know. 
I miss the warmth of his hands. His calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace. And you deserve to rest. Okay, so now we're running. Nice. Unless something attacks. Gotta look all around for resources. I'm sorry. I'll miss him. Dearly. Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. Alright, let's talk. Good night, my dear. Alright. There's another door. Can't exit there. Alright, let's go. Already read all of that. Join Red at the schoolhouse. All right, there we go. Good day to you, madam. Antea Duarte is my name. May I ask yours? Duarte. Duarte, you came with the banisher, did you not? I am the banisher. Oh, right. So, you're the face of hope, are you? You're what my tithes are buying. Oh, right. Well, I hope I'm wrong. What can you tell me about the... Did Haskell not lay it out? Minister Davenport said he'd summoned the best banisher there is. Can you lift the curse? In my experience, most curses are actually hauntings. And well, well, I'd like to tell you I find that a comfort. <laughs> what can you tell me about the town? The minister closed it down. Said it was dangerous. Imagine. Do you remember when and why? The when is difficult to say. I admit I've lost track of time. Tell me about why. Would you like to buy some china, some porcelana? Oh, you'll be shocked to learn that there is little demand for the finer things in life, and we have next to no supply of the stuff. I should have gone when I had the chance. I suppose beneath it all. Okay, she's... A very good day to you. You're optimistic too, then. She's kind of dark. Well, at least I don't have to talk to all of them, as far as I can tell. Wait, who are you? Aren't you the merchant? Yes. Farewell, Mr. Bachelor. And you may... I shall not wish you luck. Okay, he's another dark one. Take that. Take that. Banish your techniques. Okay, I'm just going through this slowly so you guys can read it. Then you can always pause. Alright, let's rest. did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I 
I love you, Red McCraith. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? That wasn't Charles. That was the ghost of Charles. Charles Davenport. Our oldest friend, the man who brought us together. Our friend is dead. His ghost was a danger to his wife. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake, they steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. Give them that. We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. A ghost may suffer too. A sin puts a gentler end to it. But not a safer one. Better to banish and be sure. Would you banish me? If it came to it. You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. <laughs> That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost, you <laughs> wouldn't I wonder what the right one is. I would. Then I'd kill you again for dying before I do. Sometimes you scare me. I know. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be a... What did he call it? A nightmare? I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. Poor Charles. Poor Esther. Resta. Uh oh. She took her fire bane. She says I'm the reckless one. All right, let's go see what happened. Let's go see what happened. No, 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 nothing. Sheesh. Where are you? You're hardly in the meeting now, are you? Oh, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. And there. What is that? All right, got some leather. Why would you go up there alone? I'm hoping. And here. Ugh, these buttons. I don't suppose you specters have seen Antea, have you? Okay. 
Okay, that's the other way around. Let's go find Antel. Mushrooms for the pyre. That was an alpha one too. Uh oh, this is gonna be bad. you see? We never stood a chance. Matea, are you hot? Where are you? Why do I suspect that's not Antea but the nightmare? I'm here, my love. What happened? Yourself. God came to the man in a dream and said, Behold, thou art dead. But the man had done nothing wrong and said, Lord, wilt thou also slay the righteous? What? So basically, the nightmare drew him in. Where's Antea? What have you done with her? That was Paul's. Lady, if you hurt her... You cling to love, a fool to the last. There is no love. There is only defilement. Oh, wow. We have a boss fight. Alright, let's go. He will suffer like I do. We want to help. No, that didn't work. My bad.
Oh, it's a cutscene. to claim your man you think you love him you do not there in the dark of your manner there is no love only betrayal i offer you a trade he stays and you leave with your life i'll bargain with no ghost you have a brain yet you think with your idiot heart you're weak What was that? No! to her aid now when all is lost. If you do, I'll be waiting. Wow, I'm shocked. Did not expect that to happen. The icy ocean made a diamond from his grief, then buried it in his heart. The weight of his failure dragged him down. Outside time, drowning in the gloom, he spoke her name. Take me instead, he screamed, soundless, to the cold and silent waters. Out beyond the black veil of death, something heard his cries and reached for him. Let her go. Take me instead. Let her go. Ah, you're awake. Who are you? She who rescued you. Tended you for days on end. Weeks, maybe. Weeks? Oh, God. What have I done? Get your strength back before you beat yourself up. She is dead. Yes. That's why you're here. And why I was sent to look after you. Who are you? I feel like we've met, but I'm sure we have not. I feel like I know you forever, but, but do I? You're confused. It's normal. You've been near killed by a nightmare, you've lost your beloved, and now you've a witch by your sickbed. Witch? Witch. I go by Seeker. Find the Banisher, said my mistress. Tend him, and answer any questions he asks you before you leave him be. So, how do you feel? 
Does it matter? Of course it matters. It means you're alive and you haven't given up. Who sent you? Her name is Ceridian, and my hands and words are hers. Beyond that, don't burden yourself. Ceridian, this little seeker who asked you to find me, is she Scots or something? It's Ceridian. She's too old to be from anywhere in particular, and while, yes, I found you, she told me where to look. This nightmare, how it spoke, how it tore right through her. I've never seen the like of it. Few have. Fewer have lived to tell of it. What drew such a powerful spirit here? Who knows? Something awful, I don't doubt. The worst angers rise from the most terrible wrongs. My friend said that. He's trying to warn us. An immutable law. You have wise friends. What am I to do now? How do I... How do I do it alone? You're not alone. Have faith. If Ceridian had told me more, I'd tell you it. But you must have faith. This isn't what I want. Not like this. Not without her. No one gets what they want. You get what comes. And if you survive, you get changed by it. You have a hole in you. A yawning, grimacing pit in your soul. That's love, that is. God. Here's the thing. Unlike most. Why'd you pull me from the water? What's your business with me? I have no business with you, but my mistress does. Ceridian says the wall between the living and the dead is under threat. You, it seems, have a part to play. This is mine. You've lost me. No, I found you. But so did you. You may think you're done with your ghosts, Red McCraith. But they aren't done with you. I'll go now. Rest. Why ever my mistress saved you, she has good reasons. The best. Where are you going? Oh, to Ceridian. She needs me. Where shall I find you if, or when I need to? Maya marshes, great big swamps other side of the woods. You can't miss them. We'll know when you're coming. Until we meet again then. That's right, Banisher. Now, turn around. What? I'm leaving. Okay, so we got saved by a witch. I wonder where her story is. But that's going to be it for today's episode. As always, thank you all for watching. And if you enjoy the show, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you all next time.